Hey, welcome back to the channel. So recently, Microsoft announced the upcoming Windows 11. And one of those things that they touted in that new version of Windows is better performance in games. So that's something that I wanted to check out. I took my gaming laptop, run some benchmarks on it, upgraded it to Windows 11 with the Insider program, ran some more benchmarks on it, and put this video together comparing the performance of games in Windows 10 versus Windows 11. Now keep in mind that this is a beta version of Windows 11, so the final version may be different, but as significant differences come out, I'll be doing a new updated version of this video, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell if you wanna see that. So let's get right into this. Now, first of all, the gaming laptop I'm using is an Electronics Mag 15. It's got an i7 9750H, 16 gigs of RAM, a 512 NVMe drive, and an RTX 2070 Max-Q. I ran some benchmarks and tried some games, and I'm gonna show you side-by-side -side as we're going through those. Now, first up is Unigen Superposition, and all these results are either rounded up or down, but in Windows 10, we got a minimum frame per second of 22, a maximum frame per second of 35, and an average of 28. In Windows 11, we got exactly the same, a minimum of 22, maximum of 35, and an average of 28. So exactly the same between Windows 10 and Windows 11. In Windows 10 for Unigen Heaven, we got a minimum of 29 frames per second in Windows 10, a maximum of 148, and an average of 75. In Windows 11, we got a minimum of 29, a max of 166, and an average of 80. Now again, I ran these benchmarks multiple times, both in Windows 10 and Windows 11, and the results were pretty consistent. We had a consistent five frame per second increase in Windows 11. Now five frames per second isn't gonna make or break your experience, but it is interesting that in Windows 11, exact same hardware, exact same drivers, it's same software, everything, we got about a five frame per second increase. Now the next benchmarking we're gonna do is not separate applications, it's benchmarking within specific games. So let's jump into that. So the first game benchmarking we're gonna do is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now Rise of the Tomb Raider tests a whole bunch of different areas and gives you results. So these are the overall results for both setups. So on Windows 10, we got an average frames per second of 51. And in Windows 11, we got an average frames per second of 58. Now we're looking at about a seven frame per second difference. Um, running this multiple times, I saw this get up as high as 10 frame per second difference between Windows 10 and Windows 11, but never saw it drop below that seven frame per second increase. So again, not a game changer, but we're starting to get into that realm where you may see a little bit of a difference in the performance of your game. The next in-game benchmarking we're gonna do is Red Dead Redemption on 1080p ultra settings and benchmark results on this. In Windows 10, we got a minimum of 36 frames per second, a maximum of 93, and an average of 61. In Windows 11, we got a 43 frame per second minimum, 96 frame per second max, and a 66 frames per second average. Again, this was consistently about five frames per second higher in Windows 11. And again, I just wanna stress, this is on the exact same hardware using the same drivers. The last one I did was just messing around inside a game and having the Xbox game bar frame per second counter up in the corner uh, that does show you an average. And that game is days gone. In Windows 10, we got an average frames per second of 85. And in Windows 11, we got an average frame per second of 90. Again, we're looking at about a five frame per second difference. Now keep in mind these differences are gonna be very dependent on the machine you're running it on. I'm running it on a gaming laptop. What, depending on what you run it on, you may get different results, but it does appear that Windows 11 does give you a increase in the performance of gaming in most cases, at least with most uh, recent games. The Unigen Heaven benchmarking that kind of represents an older game didn't give us any increase. The superposition gave us about a five frame per second increase and that kind of uh, meshed with what we saw 
in the in-game benchmarking and the messing around that I did in Days Gone. So again, not a game changer, but even with the beta version of Windows 11, it looks like we do get a little bit of an increase. If you have any questions or comments about anything in this video, leave that down in the comment section below. Also, if there's a specific game that you want me to try out the next time a major version of Windows 11 drops and I do another one of these videos, let me know what that is. I'm happy to add it into the mix and check it out for you. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video.